good YouTube. So today we're going to talk about the top 10 most annoying cards to have chained to you in the game. And this is all history, so it's going to include banned cards. But let's go ahead and talk about how I came up with this. This was in the Austin Yu-Gi-Oh group, and uh, we were talking about a thread where the, somebody had said, uh, Chain Wavering Eyes, who remembers? And everyone was having flashbacks and terrible memories of it. So I'm going to name the top 10. Uh, Billy and I and uh, Robert were all talking about it, and we decided on the top 10 uh, most annoying cards to have chained to you. Number 10! Mystical Space Typhoon. Not only is it annoying to have people say, uh, does it MST negate? Uh, it's actually just really powerful. A lot of your spells, pendulum spells, traps, continue, like your continuous traps, in phase MST on its own is really annoying, but having any of your continuous traps just totally annihilated, called the haunted, not able to use it, uh, having any of your pendulum spells that activate hurt, just really, really, really annoying. Uh, MST is definitely a huge chain card, uh, and it's really annoying to see at any time. Number nine, Max C. So, basically, Max C is one of the most annoying cards to have chained on you. Max C definitely puts in work whenever somebody would say, Summon Rescue Rabbit, activate Max C when it activates its effect. Or, Summon Tour Guide, activate effect. It always at least becomes a one for one, if not a plus one, because the proper play is typically to go further. Even today, you make your Dante and the Beatrice through it and give them extra, extra cards. Or uh, activate to your Pendulum Scale. Well, it's going to be a one for one, and you're probably not overlaying your contact using this turn, and it's really timed how far you're going to go. So, uh, definitely an amazing card to chain, but very, very annoying. And a lot of people just don't know how to play through. They don't know when to stop or if they should keep going. So, I would place this at number nine on the most annoying card scale. Number eight, we have another hand trap with Effect Veiler. Definitely just the card that makes your cards not work. Uh, you have Rescue Rabbit, Veiler, Tour Guide. Valor. A lot of these cards that I've been mentioning just get Valored. Your strategy just goes out the window. You, you can make your play Summon Joker, Valor. Uh, Sorcerer, Valor. Uh, throughout all the time since it's been released, Valor has been a very powerful card. There's a reason the ultimate has stayed at like 50, 60 for the first ed. But it is definitely one of the most annoying cards to see come out of the hand on you. I would say it's usually more devastating than Max C because it's, it stops where you're going completely. It doesn't give you the option to keep going. Number seven, Skill Drain. Let's have flashbacks back to when there were three of these running around. Even worse than Valor, you would kind of have... Skill Drain just flip up on you and you wouldn't be able to do anything with your monsters and it would typically boost some kind of their monster or work with their strategy. It would turn Acid Golem's bad effects off for BA. Uh, it would uh, help Klee and make 2,800 monsters and the scales would boost them. And all the way to back in the day, uh, Cyber Dragon, the 2,100 beater, was very fearsome in some of the formats and it would just put in a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And... Definitely one of the most annoying cards to have chained when you're trying to activate an effect that's on field that didn't tribute away your monster back in the day. And now, you know, activate it. You can't even, like, activate certain cards now because you don't have priority to activate. So, Skill Drain, definitely one of the most annoying cards of all time. Number six, Vanity's Emptiness. Oh my gosh, so you are losing a card when this gets chained to you. Uh, monster Reborn, chain. Call the Haunted, chain. Uh, it's, it's sometimes people just flip it face up because that's the correct play a lot of the times nowadays But back in the day uh, it would have a lot more options to chain to instead of just flipping up so Definitely one of the most annoying cards to have chained to you and floodgates in general are Capable of just locking you down. So like not only do they get their initial card But then you have to use a card to deal with them. So definitely hate to see it. number five trap does shoot so back in the day you would like start your turn off and maybe MST their back row or summon breaker pop. Well, dust shoot being held to this point, especially through goat and uh, and 
troop dupe format was one of the most annoying cards to see chained to you because not only did you just lose a card, but man, you just lost another. It's already hard enough to see it just flipped up on you, but when it was getting chained on you, that's the most annoying feeling because you just lost two to one. And uh, does shoot already one of the most powered cards on its own. It's crazy how people didn't figure it out till much later. Number four, Royal Oppression. Man, you people moan and groan about Vanity's emptiness these days. You did not have to live with Royal Oppression, especially in the era where you were able to chain it. At first, uh, you could when you summon Cyber Dragon, you couldn't chain there, but then it became to where if you already had it, like if you if you just flip it up to the summon of Cyber Dragon, it negates it, and that's how it works now. And uh, thank God it's banned. But man, one of the worst feelings, because again, you play your card, pay 100, negate it, and now you have to deal with that card as well. The only saving grace to Royal Oppression was that sometimes you could reverse it on your opponent and make it a bad situation for them. But almost every time, all the way through Glad Beast format, through every format, Royal Oppression was so killer. Impression gadget shout outs to M. Cole 40, but definitely just the one of the original floodgates, one of the most annoying cards to have chained on you because, again, you're just put in a situation where you're losing bad. Number three, Imperial Order. Oh man, what a card. It locks down over half your deck typically in the formats that it was played in until it got banned. Almost every deck was kind of like almost 20 spells slash traps and most of those were like 15, 14 spells. So like it would just really lock down some hands completely. And when it's getting chained to you, oh man, you've already lost one. And like, he said, like we've been saying on these other cards, typically... You're losing a card, and then you have to deal with it, too. So you would have to have, like, Breaker's Counter or something. Because typically, they're leaving that card up until they're ready to play all their spells. Number two, we mentioned it at the start of this video, Chain Wavering Eyes. The Wavering Wars were probably one of the most traumatic experiences of Yu-Gi-Oh! for a lot of duelists. Wavering to Wavering to Damage Juggler to Wavering. Do you all remember these? I've seen as many as five chains of Wavering, Wavering, Damage Juggler, Waving, Damage Juggler, like those crazy, crazy, crazy chain links. And uh, Wavering Eyes, definitely one of the most annoying cards to ever have chained to you on a format where it was predominantly one deck, all Pendulum. Uh, remember, like 29 out of the top 32 at full power uh, pendulum performer pal. Uh, uh, it was just, it's crazy. And so the Wavering Wars, definitely the most traumatic experience in recent memory. And I think definitely the most triggering, triggering card ever. People had gentlemen's agreements to side out all three. It's very rare a card makes that part and point to have that happen. Number one, the Mac Daddy of them all, and my personal favorite, I was the uh, second person to ever win with three of them in my deck, Solemn Judgment, definitely just the stop, and like, it didn't matter what you did, it doesn't matter, people would not really side things for them, they'll say they did back in the day, they'll be like, oh, I have seven tools, it does, uh, no, nobody played seven tools, and when they did, it typically did not get them there, if you look at all the past top decks. But Solemn Judgment, definitely the most annoying card because there's nothing you can do. Yes, it's half their life points, but it just completely shut down anything and everything. Monster, spell, trap, it doesn't matter what you have. Solemn Judgment just didn't care at all. So uh, if you enjoy this kind of video and you really kind of want to see more, I actually have another one planned that me and Billy worked on, and it's the top 10 most annoying cards to have played on you of all time instead of chained. So if you enjoy these discussions, I'll start working on them with Billy more, and we'll kind of, you know, do these kind of things a lot more often. So thanks for watching, and House of Champs out. Be sure to subscribe and also check out the Zodiac Facebook and stream. The links are below. And always feel free to comment and talk about these videos.